Okay, I've been asked how to install this switch right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this one off and we'll uh, we'll see how it is actually installed. Um, you're gonna, first thing you're going to have to do is turn the power off to the furnace. Uh, if you don't have like an NCV, non-contact uh, voltage tester or meter, the way you can do this is start the furnace so it's running and then kick the breaker off. Whichever one kicks it off, you know you shut it down. I would also like to double check with an NCV anyway, but we will go ahead and do that. Okay, that shut us down. And here I am checking. Uh, no power there. Okay, I've got the inner cover taken off here. And you can see, uh, look close here, you got the white wire. Now the white wire is coming off from down here and it goes into this J box. You can't really see it here, but it's just wired off to the white wire coming from the power source. Uh, we don't switch this white wire that's the neutral and we generally don't switch it going into the furnace the black wire we do and the black wire is really kind of hard to see here because it actually is I don't know if you can see that or not the black wire is is coming from here and it goes uh, straight out here and comes over to here. Okay, the black wire comes from inside there, comes to here, and then goes through the switch and out uh, to the power source. Now, what can kind of confuse you is there are two other black wires coming out of here. Okay, one of them doesn't have any marking on it, it's still black. Uh, you can find it on the wiring diagram. But that's for the electronic air cleaner if you want to use it. This one here still got the marker on it. It says humidifier. So those, if you're connecting up a humidifier electronic air cleaner, you can go ahead and use those. Not all furnaces have these, but it is getting pretty, pretty common now. So uh, the only other one is, and I don't know if you can see this. Okay, you can see the green wire going in here to the... Uh, to the bare wire, I don't know if you can see that bare wire very good, going, uh, coming in from the system and that is your, your, uh, your ground. Yes, it's a red wire nut, it's supposed to be a greenie, but I don't care. Uh, you are actually supposed to use a green wire nut on those, but it's a, but it is a green wire coming from the furnace here, hooks up to the uh, bare wire coming from power. Uh, make your switch when it's mounted uh, is up in the on. When it's on, it's up. Uh, make sure you're not, you don't have any wires that could impact, you know, hot leads. Uh, like I got a ground there that's pretty close. So I, move it back, put everything together, and uh, turn your power back on. And that's pretty much it. It's not complicated to do. Uh, if you have extra wires in here, but you're not sure what they are, they're not, uh, they're not designated, look on your wiring diagram. It'll show those wires probably dead-ended. Uh, and uh, so that'll uh, kind of clear up that. Okay, we got everything put back together. I'm going to go back and turn on the furnace. And off we go. Everything's working like it did before. Be sure all your screws are putting all your boxes and cover it up. <laughs> 